Welcome back, everyone, to the Fire Rises mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Miss Milk Lover. But North Korea uh, storms over the DMZ. Breaking news from the Korean Peninsula today. North Korean forces have launched a full-scale invasion, crossing the 38th parallel and advancing into South Korean territory. South Korea has declared a state of emergency. Will members of the EADI, EADI and PTTO, long at odds over various international affairs, have entered a state of mobilization according to pre-established plans? For other countries around the world, the war on the Korean Peninsula is seen as a flashpoint for the intensifying conflicts between the two opposing camps. Although all signs indicate that both sides will leverage the situation for their own agendas, whether it will escalate into a large-scale military confrontation akin to the UN forces of the past remains to be seen. The war of our time. So, uh, I'm going to go with the role-playing idea that I hate communists, being of a uh, nature of my of our ideology, and uh, we hate the commies. So, even though these guys are soft liberals, centrists social liberals for the most part, we don't, we hate these people more. Uh, we hate the communists more, or socialists more. So we're sending divisions in, get a little more army XP, see what we can do, and uh, yeah, have a good, have a good old time. Um, I'm sure they're going to be taking a lot here and here. They're going to be taking a lot everywhere for the most part. So, uh, Velma would be okay, but Rikad Arasmanit, you need to go over the country last time. It is what it is. But we do have a cup of pumpkin spice coffee. Just black. It's not enough in this cup. But high temperature superconductor is very nice. Tw almost 2028. 20, uh, we're getting all this stuff done, which is nice. Industry. How are we looking for industry? I don't like the more cost, but that's okay. We'll eat it for now. So we have a ton of liquidity, though. Inflation is, is too high as well. So you're here just to literally help hold the line for now. As we get to make more divisions. Also, I did realize last time, like I said, uh, we got like troops de marines, we got Gibraltar and whatnot, so and last time um, well a formation of the new axis. Uba Alas. Lord of Eternal Alas, there you go. Uh, yeah. We're doing okay, and Israel is getting attacked on all sides. Mm -hmm. Assist our Greek brothers. Chancellor's guiding hand. I want to solidify control as fast as possible. Well, Johan, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. It's for Ukrainian nationalists. Right, Spain and Portugal, for Orange. Belgium and Friesland joins a pact of steel. Go to war with the Lowlander Union. Friesland. This is the Kingdom of Belgium. Oh, and they have them as a puppet. Interesting. Fall Orange, Sister Greek Brothers. Well, I don't mind hurting, getting rid of our inflation. JSC Bills. Is this MEFO Bills? That'd be nice. Drop the Euro. Yeah. Uh, interest rates grows up by 10%, but it's alright. So if that's the case, let me actually position you guys up here then. That might be complicated a few things. We don't have enough of a navy yet. Which we haven't really been focusing on the navy too much, in all honesty here. Can we destroy a hole? It's a screening ship, so that's not going to be very good for us. Yeah. Yeah, we're just out of a lot of equipment. A lot of stuff. A lot of planes. Self-propelled. Anti-tank. SPAT. Oh, stuff about guns in general. We need more. We need more tungsten. Oh, oh I just realized you can do it like this. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we have no consumer goods. How's it going in Korea? I guess I should try to push in now. Could you? Oh, you might be able to push in, maybe. There you go. Is 
And they're attacking once again. They're attacking us, we're attacking them. Let's see what happens. Oh, well. The war is escalated even further now. <coughs> Giants are going to get involved. Ah, love caffeine. Now you better hold on for your dear lives. Oh god. Uh, how about you all go in this way? Drop the drill. Big war in Asia. Since end of the Taiwan War, everyone has been counting the days until this moment. The war between the two most representative military giant alliances of the post-Cold War era, the EADI and the PT PDTO, has officially begun. People immediately refer to this as a new Great Asian War. This name might remind some of the Pacific Theater of World War II and the militaristic Japan so-called Greater East Asia War, but the scale and pattern of this conflict has far surpassed any of previous conflict in the Asia-Pacific region. Simply that China, with its vast population, strong industrial capabilities, and the world's largest military, along with EADI allies, holds an insurmountable advantage over its enemies. Additionally, EADI member states can use China's homeland as a stable rear base, leveraging the advantage of interior lines of operation. Conversely, it's argued that the PDTO, led by Japan, geographically surrounds and blocks China, and the vast sea areas controlled by the PT. PDTO ensure maritime dominance and stable trade routes. Moreover, the PDTO is primarily composed of democratic nations, which inherently give it an ideological advantage over the authoritarian EADI. All in all, of course, the war has, for the moment it began, been driven solely by strength. From land to sea, from sky to space, and now including cyberspace, the God of War has initiated a bloody game that will shape the political landscape of humanity for the next half century. The fire rises burning through Asia Pacific. Well, look at that. We start this episode in another war. War is a great work of the state, the basis of life and death, the path to survival or death. Uh, this needs to be carefully weighed and considered. North Korea joins the EADI. Nice. You know what, you guys should come over here. <coughs> the Second Korean War might reach another turning point. North Koreans officially announced a shift towards seeking assistance from the China-led EADI. Moreover, China has declared that in order to fulfill the provisions of the China DPRK Friendship and Cooperation Treaty, uh, to safeguard its northern border, it will dispatch volunteers troops in North Korean territory to support the North Korean people's struggle for national defense. This, these welcome volunteer units, primarily composed of elite forces from the Northern Theater Command of the People's Liberation Army, have begun a port in North Korea via the Yalu River Bridge and transport aircraft creating streams of steel as seen through satellite cameras. In response, government of the Republic of Korea immediately condemned and strongly protested this action, while Japan government also expressed deep concern. China's renewed intervention in the Korean Peninsula Inevitably recalls the Korean War of 1950, when China's involvement led to a prolonged standoff at the 30th parallel that lasted over 70 years. Now, the reversal of the current situation seems seemingly places South Korea's fate once again under the sword of Damocles, with its allies clearly unwilling to stand idly by. Accelerate towards sort of war. Yeah. If you guys can go up here, you take a port, too. Oh, we have something, too. Maintain economic independence, regulate inflation rates. Monthly inflation factor. Minus 75%. We're gonna regulate them. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh! I love how it just shifts you over to where things are gonna get nuked. For the first time since the Second World War, nuclear weapons have been deployed in the Middle East. The coalition of Arab armies had announced deep operations deep into Israel and liberation of major cities. As a last resort, the state of Israel, rather than suffer under annihilation, decided to bring the coalition down with it. The unprecedented destruction um, of Damascus, Aleppo, Beirut, Baghdad, and Cairo serve as a harsh reminder of the power of nuclear weapons. News from the region has gone completely silent since the strike assumed its head of the state of Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, and perished. One can only imagine the untold number of dead and horror from this event. Nice. Well, if they wipe out the Jews, the Jews aren't going to go down without a, one heck of a fight. Oh, that's freaking awesome! In a shocking revelation, news has emerged from Israel of a small contingent of the Syrian army, the al Assad division, claimed to be the successors of the Syrian Arab army, and vowed to continue the war to avenge the martyr President Bashar al-Assad. The forces entered the remains of Tel Aviv and hoisted their flag above the city. The liberation of Palestine has been deemed fulfilled. Much yet is still unanswered and remains undetermined if the proclaimed division controls any occupied Israeli territory, far the land they travel. The leadership of Israel still has to reappear, uh, and is believed much of the nations are in utter anarchy. An unexpected conclusion. So, the state of Palestine exists. Um, holy crap, that's a crap ton of attack. Sadism. Mass riots. Severe water shortage. Well, you get what you get.
and China has arrived. You probably want to start digging in. No stability, but we're working to get it up again. Invite the UK. Oh. Oh, they're fighting Vietnam too. Oh god. That's pretty bad. Vietnam is completely surrounded. Holy cow. What's the UK doing? Kingdom of Great Britain, huh? Oh. You became an absolute monarchy. The Brexit debacle. The sun sets. NHS time bomb, of course. All right, so what do we got here? I want to, I don't mind inviting the UK, but I want to keep working on everything else here too. Plus 0.5 is extremely strong, and we need that political power and stability. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 for more stability, growth, society development, society development. Well, there's no difference between these two, except this one's cheaper. I want radically more stability. I'm waiting for the Chinese to attack, though. Yeah. That's just too many divisions. Yep, and here we go. Oh, yeah. And they have air superiority, too. That's not good. He's learning, though, which is good. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, God. With the, he's a good concentrate right there. Regulate him. Um, let's go ahead and uh, I don't want to leave the war yet. Let's just Greek brothers. So what's inflation looking like now? 70%, that's much better than it was before. Fuel rationing. Um, business value. Retention cap. Cap growth. Let's go with that for now. If we lose down here, I mean, we can use a part of the leave, but we don't have to call our volunteers too if we need to. Do not just attack idly by, that makes no sense. Making more military factories, which is good. India sending more divisions. Actually, how's oh my god, yeah. India is fighting a two front war. EADI takes Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon, a bustling economic hub of Vietnam, is now engulfed in smoke and destruction. The PDTO forced the station in the city to withdraw, leaving it to be taken over by EADI troops. The change in control of Ho Chi Minh City has had a profound effect on the regional conflict. The EADI forces now almost entirely dominant Vietnam, assuring the security of their flanks while operating in the heart of the Southeast Asia. Furthermore, the port facilities in Ho Chi Minh City provide a crucial operational base for the EADI Navy. Conversely, uh, this represents a significant setback for the PDTO, indicating the loss of one of its key strongholds in Southeast Asia. While the timely strategic adjustments for the, P the PDTO will continue to lose grip, uh, further tipping the scales in favor of the EADI. Another victory for the EADI. They have war exhaustion as well, huh? American Reconstruction, yeah. Oh, hello. Previous landing vehicles. Eh, I don't know if I'll actually keep that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. We don't have the Air Force, though. You know, fight these guys. So odds are they are probably going to win up there. Yeah. Just shrecking our mil military organization and whatnot. Did they... Oh, they cut those guys off. That's not good. Korea's probably going to fall. Well, Johan? Return to the gold standard? Yeah. So joint all domain operations. Armored car, organization, tanks, black back and blow, meat stem, infantry motorized gets breakthroughs organization speed, and gets slightly more population, more recovery rate. This still benefits tanks though, which we are using tanks. Yeah. Tanks get more breakthrough organization as well. Yeah. Kind of like, what do you expect with all this stuff going on here? Yep. With China entering in, there's not much to happen. It's a red world, definitely. Don't lose soul. It'd be the best to not lose soul. Alright, what do we got here? Low interest rates. 
We want moderate interest rates. <clears throat> Fifteen, huh? There we go. So inflation should no longer be going up once this forty uh, years done. Better rail up between twenty-eight. Better engineers. Uh, I think we already talked about this. Look at all these guys we've got. Everyone needs engineers. <clears throat> They're just too good at defense. Usually. Yeah, thirty-two is not bad. Infantry brigade. I still want to increase you more. We don't have enough equipment yet. Uh, I want to throw in one of these guys too. How much combat are you too? You're gonna increase the cost, but that's all right. One's more for self-propelled artillery, and one is more for tanks. Two types of division. That's all we have. Hope you're learning a lot. Good. Become an organizer or win a specialist of Mountaineer. All very good stuff. So after this one, um, now we're going to do some here. Uh, probably support European nationalists. I'm giving already guys as much time to do this. PDTO takes Hong Kong. Recently, the PDTO launched a successful operation against Hong Kong. After several days of fighting, the PDTO forces drove the EADI forces out of the area and gained control over Hong Kong. As a former British colony, Hong Kong has been significantly influenced by the Brits and its people, despite the Chinese central government supporting a pro-China special administrative region since 1997. During the PDTO's assault on Hong Kong, many pro-British and pro-American individuals provided spontaneous assistance to the PDTO forces. In return, the PDTO rewarded those individuals with higher positions in the new occupation government. On the other hand, the fall of Hong Kong has <clears throat> dealt a significant blow to the morale of the EADI, especially among Chinese military and civilians. If the EADI command cannot quickly adapt to the situation, Further defeats in the foreseeable future are likely. Will there be BNO passports this time? Hello, they naval invaded us. That was smart from them. Let's do fall orange. <coughs> Which we should be good to do, but you know, you never know. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, the Pact of Steel includes France as well. So it's us, Italy, and then you guys. Classical, oh, classical fascists. Brick by brick. Commandments des operations spéciales. Stabilité et autorité. Martial law. Shared workforce. National rebirth. Battle for the French spirit. Weakened movement, yeah. Seems about right. By Greece, the UK. Keep working on Arethia stability. Well, we're doing okay now. I don't want these divisions destroyed, so. Good luck, guys. You're probably gonna die there. What is this? Oh, look at that. They have a little gate there. Yeah, Vietnam's not having a good time. So that stuff is all good. 2029. Maybe this time I'll actually research stuff for this group too. India, all that India has to do is just hold. The military administration zone. Who are you? Oh, your ally. Well, that's weird. John Williams, huh? Just a puppet of us. Okay. Welcome back, y'all. You know what? Maybe you're just going to leave anyways, too. Hmm. Because who do you have? You have two tank divisions, huh? Take. You know what? You're a tank panzer leader, anyways. So are you, though. Oh, darn. What, what am I using you guys for? Oh, wait. Panzer brigade. 
Panzer Grenadier. Yeah, I don't want that one. Infantry and Panzers. And then we have Panzer Divisions. Oh, okay. 42, that's pretty thick. I think it was recommended not to use divisions like that. Alright, well, welcome back. Support Greek nationalists. By Greece. All orange. So are you guys with us or no? Nah? Looks like you are. It's hard to tell with the map, but yeah. Well, we just sent more divisions north, but whatever. Hey, industry development increases, nice. Very good. Battle of Seoul. Out of confirm confirmation from several sources, established the PDTO allies near Seoul face a massive offensive from the EADI following intense battles. PDTO has determined that Seoul no longer holds military value and we have withdrawn to seek a more strategic position. According to the information of the spell of PDTO, despite EADI's formidable offensive, PDTO soldiers fiercely resisted, utilizing their advantageous terrain and fortified positions. Ultimately, however, they are compelled to abandon their current locations due to the overwhelming numerical superiority of enemy forces in order to seek up better positions to counter the EADI coalition. Nevertheless, the EADI coalition was successfully advanced in assault, where the Taguki at the Blue House was lowered in dismay and replaced by the five-star red flag and the blue-white-red star flag. The rapidly changing dynamics of the battlefield and increasingly adverse situation are also testing the adaptability of the PDTO generals. Where is that Hensiong they speak of? Sorry, you guys aren't going to be up for very long, but it is what it is. See what you can do for maybe a day or two. Huh. <coughs> do more war sport. Always find communists. General Good Galwek. Galwek? Galwek. He's a ranger. That's cool. Contractual gag orders. Um, it's all okay. How about anything for Artie? 2030. New future artillery. Oh, yeah. Well, Johan. Uh, Chancellor is getting hand, yes. Get to Melmo. For power plants. Uh, you know what? That's pretty. Sounds pretty good to me. Denmark fell very fast. Frederick the Tenth. Are you given space? You look like a person. Ah. Now we've got them. It'll be fine. The first of many. Oh, we got one guy getting raided though. We're gonna need more fuel, aren't we? Uh, let's see. National economy. Nothing we can do there. The USSR is clear on the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Oh. That is, why would you do that? Anyways, um, we're going to hurt our construction speed, actually. Interest rates are going to continue going up, but now we're going to have, a, hopefully, lower monthly inflation. Hello. That's not good. No, we lost one. It is what it is. One is not going to destroy our, you know, future. Hopefully. Hey, and there's a code destroyed.
Come on, more not gonna hurt us either. Hey. Welcome aboard, Carl the 16th. Using these guys mounting steps of trains would be a bad idea, but that's alright. Hope you like the coast. <coughs> Baggin. And then what? Solidify control, yes. We put up the power stability, cores, love the cores. That's light aircraft. I'm not sure drone launching sets would be important to that, but we'll try it anyways. Here we go. Engineers. I'm not sure if we need recon. We are using log logistics. I think tank we are. It's fine. Ah. Yeah, finding the mountain kind of sucks. All the way up and around. Ah, we'll do that in just a moment. How are you not done yet? There we go. Yay, good job, guys. So can we go to war with anyone else? Water defense and initiatives. Foreign recruitment. Second European war. Ah, Republic of Poland. Czech Republic. We'll be at war with the Republic of Poland first. Defeating them will put us at war with the Soviet Union. Lock new focuses. Okay. You are headed back, as we're going to continue building more military factories. Um, at this point, we should we have enough construction stuff going on, so let's go here and uh, India. Delivered. Well, then maybe not you. Turkey. There you go. Build. Build black crazy, please. Spare planes, attack aircraft, not really. Alright, we need a little more anti more air before we do anything else too. Uh -huh. High interest rates, overwhelming interest rates. Hurt us construction speed a little more. Well, that's gonna really help inflation. Hey, it's not much, but it's something. I just solidify our control, get more uh, cores and whatnot. Good. Welcome back. Uh, I'm not really taking there. I want to go where you're really getting attacked. Support European nationality. Yeah, that'd be easy. Yeah, that'd be good. And now, after this is done, I want to make sure that we just tank people on tank stuff and whatnot. So, improved armored and tank eighteen. Is that a support company? APC company. Self propelled artillery would be nice. Support anti tank. Signals, logistics. Improved armored. Well, maybe you're not one of those. You. Militia. Mobile. No. Armored. Multiple rocket system launch. Anti air. Not sure I thought. Armor's obviously not pretty good. Motorized can change motorized to. It gives you more hardness here. This hurts here. That. I need more mechanized.
some money stuff. Honestly, we don't need this, so. What's that? Um, 2028. Anything else we could add here that would be good? Oh, better engines, yeah. Should have got that a while ago. Uh, oh, they actually broke. My apologies about that, but the game crashed, unfortunately. Um, so, or Oda Defense Initiative, Foreign Recruitment. Could keep working on our uh, military here. I don't want to lose any more political power. This would be good to do. Um, get five off at factories, but an economy fueled by war, remove national catastrophe, which would actually probably be pretty good. Permanent mobilization would be nice as well. Um, and then we got to focus and revive the armed forces too. Uh, well, let's do that one next. But uh, Bulgaria declared war on Serbia and all of them down there. So basically, it's Yugoslavia led by Bulgaria. So. The Balkan Federation's here. That's going to be... This is really not good for us. Holy crap. Um, near future artillery's nice. Uh, I don't think we're even using this. We get some support anti-tank and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Any other options? Praise the worker spirit. More stability. All this normal stuff. Why they fought. Invite Portugal. Invite Spain. I'll invite them in. Support the Spanish nationalists. Well, it's all I need to do this stuff. Yeah, national economy, there's nothing there. Um, he's more war support. That's a bit he's nice, too. But yeah, uh, we're still in India. Trying to hold out. Uh, oh, they're losing here and there. That's not good. Yeah, it's not, not ideal. But we're still working on our guys. So, you guys go here? No. You guys go here. No one gets effects of national revival. We're still building ourselves up as much as possible. Just trying to get more military factories. It's taking forever to make these things, though. Civilian economy really hurts us, which we probably should get out of. Excellent workers' rights, overwhelming interest rates, economic downturn, which we still have for some dumb reason. So, um, we got enough light mechanized. We'll probably spare one here. Go there. How much are we out? Yeah, more mechanized. Definitely more mechanized. Uh huh. Uh huh. And we want more. Fighters. I've actually made fighter fighters, so which is good. You are here. Can I send you to Hanoi? I mean, you're still holding out. No, we can't send volunteers. I'm not sure why would they refuse us, but whatever. Oh, Korea still exists. I thought you died. Well, you could try it. Army XP is nice. Backhand blow. Um, I think that's probably what I want to keep for us as well. Yeah. For now, at least. Keep hanging out, guys. You're doing a good job. Don't worry about that. They're slowly losing in the south. You're learning a lot. He's level 4, which is good. And we can scavenger as well. Revive the armed forces. So now... What? Restore the Luftwaffe pride. Mm, it's not bad. It would help out. Tactical domination. Strategic destruction. No, I'll definitely do that one. Coalition von Schwarz Weiss Ross. Less society development. The National Socialists will join our faction. Huh. Blind eyed army extremism. It is what it is. AFD. Uh. But we have no National Socialists here. Rum des Vaterlandes. Authoritarian Democrats and Despotists will join the coalition. Which, it doesn't really matter. Socialistische Reichspartei. Got Mittuns. Um, you know, part of me says, you know, we're going down this route. We might as well go radical as possible. I'm not sure how many actual national socialists you actually have. Fascist popularity goes up. I don't want to hurt society development. Rehabilitate the Kaiser. Less, more speed, less division organization, propaganda or glory. Daily despot support goes up. Division defense and core territory. Once a Kaiser, once a Volk. Got Mittuns. Isn't Got supposed to have two T's in it? Uh, national service, of course. National conscription law, which would still be good to get two. Your two army HQ divisions. Uh, I kind of want this one now, seeing as this, because I don't really care for the Kaiser. I don't really want more despotist or despot support. Spirit of Rommel, air attack, armor technology mechanized, motorized, spirit of Bruchmüller, 
Self-propelled. I do like self-propelled. We do have quite a bit of artillery. And Spirit of Klaus fits. We want soldiers of the future. Army of the future. Versus better lessons from the European war. Which you get anyways. Or armor innovations. I do want armor innovations. So I'll probably go with Rommel. Um, I just don't want... Well... I guess we'll go this route, just because, you know, we're, we have a coalition, and our faction is basically a big old coalition right now, too, so. Hey, Korea, welcome back. Different guys here, but you have the Radosphere now. Radosphere here. Don't screw it up. Just don't lose my divisions. That's the biggest no-no you could do to me. <clears throat> just hold out as best you can. Oh, no, you have Andreas Marlo. Hope the game doesn't crash again. Oh, hello, that's not looking good. We need more manpower, too. Uh, weekly worst part? Yeah, we need that. Stability? It's not much. It's really not much at all. How's the inflation looking? It's going down. Great. Happy January 2029, everybody. They're not attacking as much. Hello. The French Social Republic is capable of getting leadership of this group. Oh, they're trying. Oh, no, I don't want you to go that way, you dingo. No, hold. Go there. Alright. Oh. 2029. How are we doing in Korea? Ooh, that's not good. It's quite bad. That's where they have two divisions there already. How do we go up? Uh, retreat and come back. No, you do that. I just there, there. So I pretty much figured as, mu as much. Nice. We have like the Kaiser. We could. What's the old uh, defensive initiative? The destruction of the Wehrmacht of the Seal of the Heights in 1945 sealed the fate of Berlin. The Bolshevik horde was allowed to march on and obliterate our capital. We say never another Silo. A line of defense across the entire Oder must be constructed. Not a single barbaric Bolshevik can ever step foot on German soil. Which requires us to making an extreme amount of uh, aircraft, but you know, whatever. How are we doing in Korea? Spirit, eh, more stability would be okay. Oh, they actually beat Afghanistan. Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. Yeah, I think the Soviets are kind of OP in this, this mod. That's from what I see. The Reds are very, very strong. Surprised America's not choosing a side to do anything either. But hey, he's becoming a winter specialist, a commando, urban specialist, maybe. Trickster, perhaps. They're trying. We're trying very hard to help hold, hold off. Against these bloodied reds. Don't lose Lahore, please. So, we, we did go to moderate security. I don't mind it costing more because we have so many billions, it doesn't matter. Tough security. That just makes sense for us. We do have civilian oversight. So, plants going up, which is nice. Any more mechanized self propelled artillery? And national service. Uh, available conscription law, Nibelung and Troya. 10% of people population hurts construction speed of a lot and factory output. 
Recruit and upgrade military divisions. Modify mil military reformation. Which would be good. Oh, don't tell me you can't get supply. Huh. It's not looking good. Self-propelled artillery. We need to use way more self-propelled. Anti tank guided missiles, but I'm not sure where we use that stuff. Let's go with that. That many. 29. Guided bombs. Extra fuel tanks. Anti ship. Don't care about that stuff. Um, so we're getting near the end of the campaign. Looks like te technologically, technologically speaking. Holy crap, they're just destroying our strength here really badly. Oh, now they got more strength back. Get in there. They love fighting here. It's level 3. Getting better and better. Drag it down a little bit further. That's okay. If you really have to. Hello. Planes in reserve? Well, I don't think you're going to last for very long. Uh, attack helicopter. Why are they making attack helicopters? I'm not sure how good they even are. But like I said, this is my first campaign in this mod, so... Where, where is it at? Rockets. Let's see. That would be good. My god, are they trying still here? <clears throat> and mostly just want to destroy the equipment. Oh! BDTO takes Ho Chi Minh City, uh, formerly known as Saigon, a bustling economic hub. Oh, well, basically, I read this. Another victory for the BDTO. EADI takes Hanoi, though. That goes to Vietnam. As the Asia conflict progresses, the EADI forces recently launched an offensive against Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, ultimately seizing control of the city. Through a blitzkrieg strategy, the EADI forces, led primarily by the PLA, swiftly capture the entire northern region of Vietnam. This development significantly shifts the war balance in favor of the EADI in the short term. Consequently, China's leading nation in the EADI has secured the safety of its southern border and inland areas. Additionally, Vietnam, a regional power, has seen a substantial blow to its potential war. On the other hand, the loss of Hanoi signifies that the PDTO has fortified the initiative in the Indochina Peninsula conflict. Should the BDTO forces fall or fail to respond proactively to the shift, the war's balance will continue to tilt heavily towards the EADI. Another victory for the EADI. Coordination, all of one heart, socialist Chinese dream, food safety reforms, Xi Jinping, Deus Ex Machina. Nice. Socialism with Chinese characteristics. Holy crap. Uh, the Chinese environment, Communist Party of China, of course. War exhaustion. People's Liberation Army, Navy. Yeah, that's true, it's Army, and then the Army, Navy. Doesn't make any sense. Chinese Space Age. How's, how are y'all looking? Works, oh god. Jitai. Japanese economy, Portrait of Japan. National unity. Divided government. Continued rearmament. Political monopoly. Constitution of LDP. Economic stagnation. And, and a badly aging population. I don't think we can exhaust China of its, of its military industry. I don't think that's possible. But it's becoming a panzer leader too. The ADI forces land in Japan. Oh crap, that's not good. <laughs> Recently, due to the need to weaken the PDTO's military capabilities by striking at Japan, the rear base of the East Asia war zone, the ADI forces have initiated an attempt to land on Japanese soil and have successfully achieved their strategic goal. Holy smokes. The ADI's force's successful landing in Japan signifies one key point. The myth of the PDTO Navy's complete control over the Pacific has been shattered. Regardless of the PDTO command's belief, this landing has dealt a heavy blow to the morale soldiers who had unwavering faith in the PDTO's combined fleet. Meanwhile, the EADI forces can capitalize on the situation to further expand their gains, capture several cities, and gain the upper hand in future battles. On the other hand, despite the EADI forces making it ashore, the PDTO still retains basic combat capabilities. The immediate priority for the PDTO command is to quickly restore the morale of the frontline soldiers, organize a new defensive line, and attempt to push the EADI forces back into the sea. Ages D-Day. Uh, so where can I... We're doing forts? Where can I put forts? Span Odor defense line. Oh. I do like Spirit of Rommel. So you lose speed, you get more division organization. 
plus five here. Ten percent more air attack, twenty percent more air defense. Five division defense. Five division defense. Ground attack factor five percent. Five percent planning. So this guy's good. Rommel's of Path gets less max planning, but you get more breakthrough, which I actually prefer. Oh, five divisions of these guys. Eh. Motorized. Oh, we can't even change our division. You go here then. Uh, light infantry, no step on snake. That's funny. Um, I guess become this, I guess. How bad are we doing here? That is so bad. Oh, China's gonna be completely dominant here. Thor's over. Battle of Busan. Busan the Garden City that once stayed the fate of the Republic of Korea. Uh, finally fell to the hands of the elite forces of the EADI after witnessing the hasty departure of the last PDTO evacuation fleet. Then's the outbreak of the war. The PDTO might have held uh, upper hand for a while, however, with the main forces of the EADI entering the battlefield. The situation deteriorated, despite the PDTO command's grandiose reports. The fall of Busan forced even the most optimistic PDTO generals to admit their failure on the Korean front. Now the PDTO can still rely on the ocean barrier. This massive need to hold off the EADI strategically for a while. Not really. However, if they cannot achieve victory on the land, how long this maritime advantage will last remains doubtful. Across the sea lies the enemy. Okay, so now you're suffering from attrition whatnot, or whatever. You gotta strategically redeploy down here. Oh, the war is so over. It's so jover. Uh, it's a time to recall our divisions. I wonder if we could try to take Busan back. Probably not, no. Hey, good alright. Land after nothing, that's nice. What else we got here? Uh, war support. I do want more war support, please. Metro development pieces, okay. Very good. I doubt you'll be able to do anything there, though, really, realistically speaking. Oh, and I knew they'd attack us down here eventually, too, so... <clears throat> Once we lose Daegu, it's all over. Yeah, he's becoming a hill spider, too. China and the Soviets, they just have so much. I don't think we'd be able to take on the Soviets, in all honesty. Oh, this is Panzer Pioneers, Ama Innovations. I'm gonna go this one first, because we get immediate stuff here. Repair the government. Yeah, we'll definitely need to do that, too. What a frickin' mess. I hope these guys have some place to evacuate to. Can you win here? Can you just like... Oh! There's a PLA. There's Liberation Army. Nice. Oh. Sure. Our guys looking actually pretty good right now. Could you go on the offensive? Oh! Oh. Well, there goes Korea. I guess we could maybe send someone to Japan. So you're the infantry guy. Yeah, go here first. Welcome back, guys. You did a great job. You did what you tried. Only one of these technologies can be researched, which makes sense, whatever. Uh, that's fine all around there. Tanks. Tanks. Tanks for the memories. 
other guy. Probably the next episode we'll go to war and we'll probably lose, but whatever. We'll try our best. Beep. Man, they are really trying. Ama innovations, good. Uh, permanent foreign recruitment. Legion recruitment, at least. Alright, welcome back. Seems like all we do is just fight the frickin' Chinese, pretty much. What do you have on you, Valta Hun? Clinically insane! Oh! More attack, less recovery rate. I, that's... That's different. I kind of like that. Oh, oh. There go the GFX. Or the graphics. See what you can do here. Could you get a Raj Kot? That'd be nice. It's not going to do very much. Helps out, but you know, whatever. Helps out a little bit, hopefully. Hey, look at that map power, though. Hello. Who needed graphics? Good. There you go. Nice job, guys. You did something here. You know what? Just in case, I have a feeling this game is getting to the point where it wants to crash ish. Just in case. I don't want to crash again. Why did that happen while we're looking at India? Oh, they're just attacking like crazy. There's just so much armor. And other divisions, too, but still. What's going to be here? I'm not sure if that helped out. Oh. Well, that's really bad. You might want to leave and go there. Yeah, definitely. Alright. New European Crusade. Yeah. Um, permit region, Legion recruitment in the Netherlands. Permit in the Belgian area, too. Are you learning? Maybe not. You have got to kill these guys off as soon as you possibly can, because this is bad. That's bad, 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 bad. I'm glad we made a circumvent earlier, but still. Oh, he's learning, though. He's still learning a lot. Kill him off! So here in Devastation, got the horror, the horror. Hello. Oh, prominent slave trade. War exhaustion. Lawless Desert, Republican Guard, Emerging Economy, North African Cold War. And here's the Sahel Federation encroaching Sahara. Severe water shortage. Nice. I know the longer we take, the worse it's going to get for us, but like, I don't have enough of anything here. Erm, um, Blackwater? Let's see. Foreign Legion recruitment in the Netherlands. Compromise a moderate recruitment campaign. Allows form a full div division legion. Massive recruitment campaign. Full manpower at one strength. Allow the OKW to recruit a small number of special support personnel. Uh. Massive campaign. We like a massive. Oh, this def division. 37 combo with holy crap that is a thicky it's fine with the same thing the supreme chancellor addresses the armed forces oh look at this oh god so spongy the fate of the germination europe is now in your hands the struggle must pursue the objective of turning today's russia into ruins be carried out with extreme severity victory at all costs winner takes all unconventional war oh unconventional weapons let's see what that's like Become an engineer at least. The PLA. Oh, okay then. 
slowly getting there. Are our forces even engaged? Yeah. Uh, the Battle of Tokyo. Oh. T uh, Tokyo, the capital of Japan, a modern metro metropolis with a large jungle of steel, has finally fallen under the fierce attacks of the EADI forces. A large number of EADI soldiers, upon entering Tokyo, driven either by a sense of national sentiment or by orders from the superiors, have been systematically searching for and destroying any symbols and structures uh, representing Japanese militarism they could find while cleaning out the remaining resistance forces. Well, unfortunately, some civilians have been harmed, incidentally, due to these activities. For the PDTO, losing Tokyo not only means losing the capital, the second largest country in East Asia, but also the most reliable man-made defense fortifications, potentially leading to the loss of the entire Japan and subsequent battles. How many pens do we need for signing the peace treaty this time? Uh, I don't think there's going to be a peace treaty that's going to be even slightly favorable to anybody, except for China. Hey, inflation's looking better, though. Debt payments, zero imports, not bad. Exports, not bad. Probably gonna get rid of the high taxes, but you know, whatever. Oh, second European war. Oh, hello. Deutschland bleibt Deutsch. Germany will, will stay German. Let's pick apart more weekly war support. It's not bad. Reinfor oh, that's over here now. Okay. Reinforce order defense line. Yeah, I don't mind doing that one then. We definitely need more forts. Activate our nuclear arsenal. Make our enemies for face unmatched power of the sun. I think we have nukes, do we? We're still again here better and better and better. You need to get down here fast. We have got to reclaim Tokyo. I apologize for taking so long with everything. I just don't know this mod that well. Good hospital. So that's the pocket which would be nice. Look at that here. Yeah. Most definitely that one. Bitter lessons from the European war, yeah. Now we'll prepare the nation to fall. Rock. When we get there. PLA lands in Okinawa. The recent People's Liberation Army organized a landing operation to occupy Okinawa. With coordinated efforts from the Army, Navy, and Air Force, they ultimately gained complete control over the region. The capture of Okinawa signifies the failure of the Pacific Defense Treaty Organization strategy to block China's maritime power through the island chain strategy. This victory is not only a military success against the PDTO, but also has extraordinary historical significance for China. Undoubtedly, the capture of Okinawa will greatly inspire the Chinese military and civilians, providing better support for China's conference of war against the PDTO. The PDTO must reassess their war strategy and adjust their strategic deployment under certain circumstances, accumulating enough resources to face upcoming battles. The beast is unleashed. Still building. More milis, too. Uh, I could probably make some cast now. Self repelled, yeah. Is there another uh, one of these guys? How are they still alive? Holy cow! Down and around. But can we get this one? Can we duplicate it? We'll call this cast. Nope. Oh, 
Ah, screw it. We'll just do it like this. Gen 2s, Engine 3s, Structural Elements. Uh, that's fine. Avionics. Let's see. Detection. More ground attacks. Siding systems 2 and then 3. Radar. Naval targeting. Surface detection. This Oh, but Siding 3 does not give you any more ground attack. That's weird. Because I want bombs. Unguided bombs. Air to ground. Unguided rockets. Ground attack factor 7, 8. Guided bombs. Air to ground precision missiles. Seven. Hmm. Honestly, it starts your agility more. It has less ground attack, but costs double. I'm got rockets. There we go. This one now can have this one. There we go. That should fix up things for us quite a bit. Advanced fighter. And that's what we have already, so. There you go. Apologize for taking so long with this. Ooh, oh, oh, the archer fighting. Oh my god, they sp just spilled through Nepal. Holy cow. Well, there goes uh, a screw. Okay, another research slot, which is nice. Guns of the future, Panzer Pioneers. That'd be good. This is still not enough for us to fight them. Honestly, if I use consequences to make sure we win this war, we'll see what happens. I don't want to, but yeah. It's the first time playing this. It is what it is. Armored freight trains. Sure, we'll grab you too, because we can at this point. Japan. Oh, they got naval invaded again. Look at that. That's so great. Balta Hun. Oh. EADI takes Delhi. Recently, EADI launched a fierce attack on the PDTO forces and, and Ching, 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 Qingdao. Uh, Oh no, um, aiming for the Indian capital. Despite active resistance from the PDTO, they ultimately failed to withstand the EADI's offensive and had to withdraw from the Delhi area. The fall of Delhi signifies a failure of the PDTO forces to expel the EADI from the region, capital region. As a crucial part of the capital, Delhi holds extraordinary significance in uh, India. His, or Indian history. The loss of the area, especially in the, to the EADI, which is effectively blacked by Pakistan, suggests a setback within the struggle for India's vast number of devotees. As will likely undermine public confidence in continuing the fight against the EADI. On the other hand, Pakistan feels that EIDI's victory in Delhi is a major triumph in the long history of Indo-Pakistani conflict. The populace spontaneously celebrates this achievement. While India may eventually reclaim the area, for now it's Pakistan that stands victorious. Will they open champagne juice? How can we not win here? They have intel advantage, but they're completely surrounded and cut off. As the war progresses and strategic needs evolve, the PDTO recently landed in Qingdao and successfully seized control of the area. Uh, for how long? Qingdao, located on the southern coast of the Shandong Peninsula by the Yellow Sea, is a significant coastal city in northern China. It boasts the fourth largest port in the world by cargo throughput, Qingdao Port, which is also China's second largest foreign trade port. Additionally, Qingdao is home to the highest concentration of former residences of modern Chinese cultural figures. By capturing the city, PDTO not only gains access to superior northern Chinese port, but also deals a cultural blow to the central government, damaging its relationship with the populace and thereby weakening China's war potential. On the other hand, the loss of Qingdao signifies a further decline in the EADI control over coastal regions. Should the EADI lose complete control of the coastline, it will be forced into a strategic retreat, resulting in a disadvantageous position. These fangs have been pulled out. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, I think we're, they're kind of screwed here. Just kind of hold the line. And then except we'll, we'll try to kill ourselves off basically by going to war with Russia. Because with everyone here helping us hold the line, I'm going to push pretty hard into these guys. I'm sure the Soviet Union's military is just freaking gigantic. And we've been slowly trying to catch up, but there's, like, there's no catching up with when they accept a massive air force. I mean, we can't compete when they have no air when we have no air superiority. Well, that's pretty normal. 
Battle of Osaka, the EIDA securing decisive victory, the Japanese mainland of Osaka has become the new EIDA control zone. The PDTO forces can only regroup their shattered troops during the retreat, hoping to delay the EIDA's advance. The fall of southern Japanese cities signifies a significant success for the EIDA in the campaign of land of Japan. Unlike the fall of any city on the Korean Peninsula, Osaka's loss marks the end of complete naval control for the PDTO forces. This loss of naval supremacy renders the PDTO's most relied upon naval forces unreliable, dealing a severe blow to the overall morale and fighting spirit of the PDTO. Troops, of course. Now the PDTO forces must advise strategies as to all the EIDA's advance, allowing sufficient time to prepare for the upcoming battle. The flames of war finally reached here. Um, Liberia, maybe? Just Thailand for now. Panzerpanios, prepare the nation. It's slowly getting better here, but it just it's just not enough, especially not in time. And here we want tip of the spear, motorization drive. Oh, that would've been nice to do early on. Whoopsie. People's militia, professional officer corps. Oh, states there's military battalion upkeep. Yeah, this would have been nice earlier on, way earlier. We don't need this right now, though. Uh, flexible organization, static warfare. We have backhand blow, so unexpected thrust. Uh, our air supply consumption would be bad. Anything over here? Defense attack on level up is pretty good. Winter leader costs. Panzer leader experience gain. We're gonna go with bolt attack. Hmm. Mass charge. No infiltration assault. No the delay. Speed organization loss of moving. Line power, power, max entrenchment, logistical focus. And I'll go do logistical focus. And now you're getting attacked here too, which is so bad. They've only three divisions left, come on. Construct second line defenses, yeah, definitely. Trust busting. We're getting close. I just want to see Japan fall. I mean, at this point, we're just waiting for this to happen. Three million in reserve, but is it enough? I don't need these. I mean, we could probably smash through the, these guys, but it's just not enough. Yep, just not enough planes. Relocation of the German government. Cologne's an excellent choice. Frankfurt, Munich. Berlin. By keeping Berlin's capital, you are committing to its defense. Abandoning it will result in tremendous penalties. Uh, Cologne. Frankfurt. We'll move to Frankfurt. Seems like a pretty good central location for everything. Guns of the future, of course. Um, but other than that, I'm going to keep doing this. Fall of Rock. That'd be fun, but we're not ready for that yet. Maintain economic independence. I pretty much want to do everything before we actually go to war. This would be nice too. I should have done this earlier, but whatever. Defend industry. A gun for every hand. A tank for every battalion. Suspend the consumer economy. A economy fueled by war. Rehabilitate the Kaiser. Um, restore the Luftwaffe pride. Aerial innovations. Structure air doctrine. Blow out the skies. If we could. Um, we could do this one, but we're probably going to tactical domination. But we'll probably end the episode there. And really get ready for the next episode where we're probably going to get killed. Pretty easily, honestly. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, which will probably be the last episode. And I was trying to destroy the Minsk Treaty Organization, um, as pretty much Japan is dead. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.